interesting facts about famous people. Best and most accurate gunplay in movies. It's pretty common when we talk about westerns and action movies that involve gunplay. It inevitably comes up about the accuracy that's depicted in these movies. As I'm researching for videos, I came across this article from Liberty Safe. I thought I'd make a video on the essence of the article today. Here are some films that are known for being more accurate regarding gunplay than your typical Hollywood movies. Here the filmmakers strive for authenticity that holds up to some scrutiny. Let's look at a few of the top movies for accurate firearm handling, sourced from Liberty Safe. If you enjoy this video, hit the subscription button to get my new videos. To check out my many other videos, head to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Heat, 1995. A stickler for authenticity, Michael Mann hires firearms advisors and has his actors train extensively with weapons before filming any scenes involving their use. Heat, particularly the bank robbery shootout, is highly regarded for its realistic gunplay, super flashy muzzles notwithstanding. Man hires ex-SAS operatives to train the actors, and it pays off. Legend has it that Val Kilmer took to the training so well that the shot of him laying down fire in multiple directions and reloading his weapon without cutting is shown at Fort Bragg as part of Green Beret training. Marines have also been shown this firefight from Heat as a depiction of how to effectively retreat under fire. John Wick film series. Muzzle flashes, gunshot sounds, and blood spattering in John Wick's many gun battles are added in post-production. But the mechanics of shooting, including reloading when necessary, is carefully choreographed by firearms trainers working with Reeves, who trained extremely hard until his movement and action were second nature, paying off in the action sequences. A great example is the catacomb shootout sequence from John Wick chapter two. Wick maintains muscle awareness, reloads when necessary, transitions from his long guns to his handgun and back when needed, and tears it up in a spectacular but ultimately realistic execution. Unforgiven, 1992. Eastwood's masterpiece, Dark Western, is textbook with accuracy portrayals of firearm use, including William Money's deteriorating skill with a handgun as he ages. Will has trouble hitting his target with a rifle during one scene. Characters express concern about running out of ammunition. There is a realistic misfire of a shotgun during the climatic scene as well as people getting rattled, shooting too quickly and missing their targets during the gunfight. Misfire! Kill us, bitch! Black Hawk Down, 2001. Jerry Bruckheimer isn't known for realistic gunplay. Luckily, on this project, he was the producer and Ridley Scott directed. In Black Hawk Down, soldiers handle their weapons like pros shoot mostly in semi-auto mode, like real soldiers, are deafened by muzzle blasts and miss their targets when they don't aim correctly. There are lots of super slow RPGs, but mostly this movie gets it right.
Lone Survivor 2013. Peter Berg made his Lone Survivor actors train with specialists for weeks until they looked and performed like a SEAL team with their weapons handling. They fired their rifles in semi-auto mode as real soldiers, needing to reload frequently, eventually running out of ammunition. A heartbreaking story. The realism is enhanced by excellent firearms handling. There are some super quiet suppressor shots and at least one trigger click when empty. But otherwise, this is a pretty accurate film for gunfighting realism. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the subscription button so you will see all my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see my many other videos. The link is in the description. Leave me a comment. Check out my Facebook page as well. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. I am Wrangler. Adios. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.